Hey guys, just a, this is going to be a really quick video. This is going to be just about bank management. <clears throat> um, how to get your bank to like do all the heavy lifting for you. It'll require a little bit of setup, but once it's done, it's going to make your time in between monoliths and organizing your loot so much quicker. <clears throat> all right, first of all, we're just going to show it off. So at the front here, in my stash category now my bank is not very organized okay but at the front here i've got my drop off tabs or, or some people call it dump tab whatever you want to call it this is where i drop everything okay so let's first of all drop this random assortment of exalted items and so we've got all these items drop them in here so we can look at them later and done now we can see what happened um everything except for the gloves went into this stash that means the only item which i will take out of here right now that doesn't have its own specific tab for exalted items at the moment and if we come over to category four on my tabs there is no glove section but as you can see all those other items that i had have automatically been sorted one handers in one handers two handers bows off hands belts you know uh, rings relics amulets so they've all been sorted so how do we how do we set that up it's very quick very easy so let's just start by in our exalted tab adding an extra tab so buy a stash Ooh. where'd it go there it is okay and right click on stash tab 44 or whatever yours is called you will come up with this and we want to put in gloves okay recolor it to whatever you want these are exalted items for me so I'm gonna leave it at the purple and then we're going to open up tab priorities okay and now under this tab this is where you get to further refine what goes into the tab okay so for this tab i want to go to types and i want to go to armor and then i want to select gloves confirm so that is set set in stone gloves will go into this tab but that's all gloves so we want to go to rarity and select exalted okay now you could take it a step further you could choose class items so class gloves class helmets whatever but this is how i've got it set up at the moment just boom set them up hit confirm and we've got this little gloves tab so if i come back over to my drop offs and drop all the gloves in and then we come back over here and we go to gloves boom they're all set up okay so furthermore let's just uh come down here where is it tester okay so it's just a little test tab um you could come in here again let's say you want to do uniques and you want to do unique helmets all right so you've put in your unique helmets um you're going to classify them as unique and then you only want legendary potential one helmets in this tab so minimum requirement one maximum requirement one and then you can make one for lp2 lp3 and if you're as lucky as <laughs> one of my friends lp4 <laughs> um and that will make it so all the lp1 all the lp2 uh, and so on will go into their own specific tab away from the other unique helmets okay um and then you can use them in any crafting or, or whatever you want to do with them so that's how simple it is to set up your priorities and you can do that with every item in the game so you can uh do it with idols you know you come in here there's idols small me uh minor like all the different idols you can make a tab up for each of them 
Um, now I do suggest that when you're doing your tab priorities, definitely set up this drop up off location because if any of those tabs fill up with items and they have nowhere else to go, they will start filling up here. And I've got, you know, three tabs here. So if items start going in here, it means they're either their tab is full or they don't have a tab assigned to them, right? So that'll be just a really quick way for you to realize, okay, I've got to, you know, add an extra tab into helmets or add an extra tab into gloves and, and so forth. Um, another quick little thing I wanted to show with the stash that a lot of people don't know, like a lot of people know there's a search bar down here, right? And you can search, let's just go to idols for instance, you can go health and then it will show up all your idols that have the word health written in the text somewhere. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that this right here where my mouse is, uh, I hope you can see it. This arrow here that pops out all these stash tabs, well, you can actually type it in here and it will hide all the tabs that don't have health in them. And it's the same with like, you can go rings, right? And, and anything like that. So really, really helpful. You can, you know, fire resist, you know, I need some fire resist. All right, let's have a look at the idols. Uh, there's some fire resist on here. 21 fire rats. Um, you can come into your exalted and go, there's a fire resist ring. Um, and, and so forth. Okay. So that's all I really wanted to show with the uh, tabs. Just uh, get your stash nice and sorted out. Make it neat. And... Uh, Make sure if this uh, gave you a hand to drop me a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.